This is Matt Stiles. I'm a reporter and data analyst here at the Texas Tribune. I wanted to walk you through our latest data application, which allows Texans to explore their capital and see what members are filing, what kind of bills and legislation they're filing here in this 82nd legislative session. So when I say explore, what I mean is that you certainly have the ability to search here by a certain keywords, types of bills that are filed, education, taxation, crime bills. You can search for bill numbers, uh, HB 100, for example. You can also search for, for you know, free form search for words that might be in a caption of a bill, which is the sort of layman's explanation for what a bill is intended to do. You can also search for last names of members of the legislature if you want to see a list of the bills they file. In addition to being able to search, you can see this tree map here, which lists all the bills that have been filed and they've been categorized and sized based on the number of bills in that category. So you can see education bills appear to be important to members right now. They are leading, they are the largest uh, categories. The darker colors represent Senate bills, the lighter colors represent House bills. You can toggle through this view though if you only wanted to see, say, bills that have been filed in the House, click House, and the tree map changes and tells you, you know, sizes based on the categories that have been filed by members of the House. If you want to see just bills filed in the Senate, toggle through and you get this view. Understanding also that there are fewer categories and fewer bills because there are many fewer members of the Texas Senate. So you can also click on a specific category if you just want to see bills filed in that category. You can see here 71 bills have been filed in the Senate that are related to education and you can actually click on a bill and get some more information about it. You can read its caption. You can see who filed it. You can go click out and go to the legislature's website and read the bill text. As the process moves along, you can go out and look at amendments. You can also look at actions that have happened. So on some bills, there'll be dozens of actions. It goes to committee, gets passed. It goes to the other side, the other chamber, gets passed, goes to committee, uh, gets am amended, gets uh, sent to the governor, gets vetoed. There are many different steps along the process for any piece of legislation. Ultimately, there'll be a long list of uh, actions here based on the you know the success of the bill and you'll be able to filter through those actions if you only want to see dates in which it was filed or passed or whatever you choose. So we also have uh, aggregate totals listed here in text so if you wanted to see precisely how many numbers of education bills have been filed you could see. If you want to see how many education bills have been filed in the House you could see. Same within the Senate. We want the public to be able to make these decisions on their own, to see this information aggregated, to understand what's actually happening under the Capitol Dome. So in addition to the types of bills, you can also look at visualizations of the numbers of bills filed by each lawmaker. You can see here in this tree map, the sizes are increased based on the number of bills filed by that lawmaker. Light blue boxes are Senate Democrats, light red boxes are Senate Republicans. The same within the House, dark red are House Republicans, dark blue are House Democrats. You can uh, also, in this same view, toggle through if you only wanted to see what Democrats are, are you know, proposing a lot of bills. If you only wanted to see what Republicans are proposing a lot of bills, you could toggle through this view and do that. There we go. So you can see here that... Uh, you know, Ken Legler, a Republican, has filed three bills. Jay Nelson in the Senate has filed 50 bills. Of course, they are in different positions, different mindsets. So, you know, these things uh, depend on the specific member. Below the visualization, we have lists of all the, the uh, top filing members based on both the party and the chamber. So you can see that Judy Zaffarini, a Democrat from Laredo, has filed the most bills in the Senate. Harold Dutton Jr., a Democrat from Houston, has filed the most bills in the House. And if you wanted to click on a specific member's page, you can be taken to their page and get some basic information about them, what their party is, wh what district they represent, and get a, a list of all their bills, both, both the bills that they filed alone and the ones that they've co-authored with other members. Now, if you really get excited about a bill and you really wanted to go to a member's office and talk to a staffer or the member about the bill, all you have to do is click on this room number, takes you to a dynamic map that tells you exactly where in the Capitol that member's office is. 
So this is just the latest of our data applications that are going to relate to the Texas legislature. Look for more in the coming weeks related to lobbying and other uh, items. And always, we want your feedback. Please go to library uh, data feedback and let us know what you think. And if you have ideas or suggestions, we'd love to hear them. This is Matt Stiles with the Texas Tribune. Thanks for listening.